ectopic pregnancy, as you guys know, is a pregnancy that happens outside of the uterine cavity. Why it's important to know that it's the uterine cavity, I'm going to show you. We have this picture of the uterus up here because there's several places that it can, that it can be. You can have it, so this is the uterine cavity right here. You can have it outside of the uterine cavity on the ovary or on the fallopian tube, on the cervix. And what she had was a corneal or an interstitial pregnancy is right here by the end of the fallopian tube and it's kind of in the lining here. And this is why it was actually, it was still in the uterus, but why it was actually able to go so far. Because normally when it's on in the cervix or the ovary or the fallopian tube, there can be massive hemorrhage and these, this can happen between eight weeks, 10 weeks, really, really early. That's why prenatal care is so crucial to know where the pregnancy is and to watch the baby just early in pregnancy for this because a woman will die. Um, most, this is the number one reason for women to die in the first trimester of pregnancy is an ectopic pregnancy. As an OB, when I have a woman come in early and I don't see something that's in the uterine cavity, we follow her very, very closely with ultrasounds. Once we've found that this is a type of ectopic that's special, like she needed MRIs to find out where exactly this was. Because the placenta can actually take hold of other parts and become like a parasite and grow in other parts of the body. So even if she was able to deliver, the placenta might have invaded and taken other parts of the body that could, like her liver and her bowel that are very, very crucial. And um, again, these places, these will cause massive hemorrhage. And in most instances, if not caught early, early meaning the first trimester, like eight, eight weeks, the, the woman will die. And you can also be treated with like methotrexate or surgery early on. So any doctor would have advised this woman to have, you know, so how, do, how does pregnancy. it happen for Nikki then that everything turns out fine? Because of where it was, what kind of ectopic it was. There's actually an artery called Samson's artery that's right in that area. Because what happen, what's happening is the placenta is finding any place to be able to exchange blood with a mother. And the Samson's artery is actually part of the uterine and the ovarian artery. And it attached there and actually went through part of the uterus. Um, so, so we know the uterus the is designed to expand right, big enough expand to, but that, is that part of the tube designed to expand that big? That's like right in the middle of the uterus. It's that lining. So mm -hmm. it has a little bit of the lining of the uterus and a little bit of the lining mm -hmm. of the tube. So it's very fragile. So still, this is a miracle baby yeah. because actually the uterus could have ruptured at any time and she could have had a massive hemorrhage and she would die and the baby would die. So if your doctor says you have an ectopic, it needs to be taken care of.